So um, in this example, what we're going to do is eliminate the parameter. So basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to get rid of this third variable t, right? And we've kind of showed you know, in this calculator how that third variable t. But if we just want to figure out what it is, we could graph it and then try to work backwards and figure out what the, what the curve is, which, as you guys kind of noticed, was a little difficult, right? Yes? So what we can do is let's eliminate the t. So basically all we're going to do is in one of these equations, solve for t. So typically, if we, want, if we want to solve for y, we want an equation with y, we typically want to plug whatever t is into the equation for y. However, I will give you the heads up, that's not always the case. So you can always try this um, solving uh, for t on the x equation first, because it's usually the easiest. I'm just going to say it's not always the easiest. So t is equal to x plus 3 equals 2. Now, if I want to solve for t, I want, or I want to eliminate the t, all I'm simply going to do is plug that in to my other equation. So what I do is I have y equals 10 minus 4 times x plus 3 divided by 2. And that's what we assumed based on our graph, right? Yes? <coughs> so that is our algebraic way to go about this, OK?